girl Deja Renee. Period. <laughs> Y'all probably like this girl's favorite word is period. It is. Okay, now for a serious note. This is the Girl Talk episode two. This is the second episode. And today I got some I got some things to talk about, okay? So put your little seat butt on. And let's roll. Period. Okay, so today I'm gonna be talking about backtracking to get ahead. Now, so a lot of us we don't think about um backtracking to get ahead. Backtracking is something that we don't ever think about, something that we don't want to do. But I'm here to tell y'all, backtracking can get you ahead. And um, a lot of us, like young people, we don't we don't believe in that. You know, we don't we don't like to go backwards. We feel like um, going backwards is like not. We feel like okay. We feel like going backwards won't help us improve and do better, but it will. It honestly will. Um, So one of the first things we'll talk about, when you have to backtrack in your life, when something happens and you are rock bottom, like you are there. And the only reason why I'm talking on this topic is because it happens to me. Like, I never thought in a million years I would have to move back to my dad's. I never thought that, you know, I would have to start from scratch with everything, you know, new environment, new job, new people around me, new everything. <clears throat> um, the first thing that I can say is that when you have to start over and you have to backtrack, first of all, it's not really a have to. Is if you if you're tired of being stuck where you're at in the position that you're in, um, you can make that decision on your own. It's for the better. It's not something bad. Don't let nobody tell you that it's bad because it's not. Um, the first thing that I learned is that you have to plan. And that day when you come to yourself, you're like, okay, I need a new start. Um, I need better for myself. I want to do better. If you have like, you have to have a plan. And you write all of it down. Like I said before, you don't have to go in order with anything. You don't have to. You can write everything down, what you want to do. And once you write it all down, that gives you some type of... Because like, when you, when you just put all this stuff in your head and you throw everything at yourself, you're not going to accomplish nothing. It will overwhelm you. You, you know, you'll have anxiety so bad. Like, you you have to write it down. Like, I'm talking about take a piece of paper and you write each goal down. Each thing, not even, it doesn't have to be a goal. It could be, you know, something that you want to change, something that you want to do differently. Um, or like me, I'll have goals. And I, I wrote all my goals down. And so, um, with that, with you writing everything down, you also have to make sure put a time limit on it not to say you have to finish that in that time limit but once you give yourself a time limit okay i gotta do i gotta have this by this you know by you know i gotta have this done by this day or this month or something you have to do that because you give yourself so much time and you and you start to give yourself excuses leeway like you need to put it down as in I want this done this this month. I want this done that month. And then you will start to see. Then months go by and everything is getting done. And then once you cross everything off, I mean, once you cross that one thing off, you go to the next thing. And then that thing get crossed off. And then you do it like that every single time. I did that with school. I did that with moving out my dad's house. I did that with my job. I did that with everything. Um, And so another thing too is it's really hard I isolated myself. So, when I had, I got into like a big breakup. I'm just going to go ahead and break it down so you can understand what I'm saying. I got into a huge, huge breakup. And I had to end up leaving that state. And so, when I left that state, I was so, oh my gosh, my I feel like my life had changed. You know, because my life was, was different for a whole year. And so, like moving to another state I ended up moving to a whole different state and my life was still different 
but I never came back home. I stayed gone. My dad would always call me like, just come back home. You can start over here. You can do this and that. Get on your feet. And I just didn't listen. Um, I felt like I had it all figured out. Sometimes y'all, we don't have it all figured out. So I didn't listen. So I decided to stay where I was. I was in another state. And I hit rock bottom again. And when I first got there, I had an apartment. I had everything. But then again, I hit rock bottom again due to other things that I felt like wasn't my fault. But um, I had to at the end of the day. And so I kept trying to fix that. I kept, I kept, I stayed there in that state trying to fix things on my own. No parents there, I had no family members there. I, I didn't have not one family member in that state. And I only knew by one, one person in the state. So I end up a few months later, I end up hitting rock bottom, like, so I, you know, didn't have nowhere to go. I was homeless and all that type of stuff. So, um, I didn't have to be, though. You know, I have parents and I have family and I, it didn't have to be that way. But, like, one thing that we had to realize, us being so young, that a lot of people would tell us, um, we put ourselves through situations. We do. But do not let nobody make you feel bad with that. Because I swear, y'all, to this day, I never feel sorry for myself. Like, what I used to go through. Like, you know, some people be like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe my life was like, no. Because I learned so much. Now I'm 22, and I'm, I'm ahead of people that's grown. Like, women that's grown. Because I learned so much, you know, dating and going through, you know, going to state to state and dealing with friendships that was not for me and dealing with things that was not for me and I learned through all that so um one thing that I did when I hit rock bottom I came back home like I remember to this day um it was last year it was March and I called my dad and I was just like daddy come get me and he was like alright I'm on my way and so that moment I was so confused. I couldn't even tell you like how how you're going to feel or how you would feel or how you did feel because I was so I remember the day when he came and got me like he came and got me the next day. And I had to move back in with him. Which was, you know, I'm used to being grown on my own, used to my own rules, used to figuring everything out on my own and then coming to a little small town and starting over, I thought it was just gonna be the the worst of the worst. And so, um, what I did was, I didn't party. Um, one thing that you got to learn, to is isolate yourself. When, when you're trying to start over, when you're trying to get ahead, isolate yourself. Don't drink. Uh, don't go out. I didn't do none of that. I, I have only, when I lived with my dad, I think me and my sister went out twice. And we didn't even go out. We went to a hookah lounge, but I guess that still count. Um, I went, we went out twice. Because what I did was I had goals and I said, okay, I want to be at my daddy's house by June 1st. I need to get a car. I didn't have nothing, nothing that I have to this day. Not one thing was with me when I was at his house. So um, what happened was I ended up, um, I had all my goals written down. I didn't party. I didn't drink. I didn't do nothing. Because I knew I had about six things that I had to do by June 1st. So, um, you got to learn to, another thing, you got to, like I said before, one thing at a time. Don't, don't, don't try to do two things at a time. Now, if they just work out that way, they work out that way. But do not try to do two things at one time because it's not going to match. It's not. Um, so... A lot of people say you got to find your why, why you want to do something or why you want that to happen or why you wanted to come together the way that you wanted to come together. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I'm not, I don't cap on this channel. Y'all probably seen that. I didn't really have a, a serious why. Uh, I was very confused. Like, not to say I was confused, but I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted. I just knew that I wanted better for myself. And that's why, um, I knew I was, I had to backtrack go back to get ahead and 
And so I didn't really know, like I was so confused on what I wanted to do and how I wanted things to work out for me and what was my plan. I, I, I had a plan. It was goals, you know, like what I wanted, but it was like, seriously, like, why do I want this for myself? And I knew that I wanted to become a better person. Um, I, I can say that my only why to do everything was because I was in a relationship with somebody before then, and I felt like I always depended on him. So I didn't want to depend on anybody no more. And that's another thing too. Once you get tired of depending on these men or you get tired of not depending on like, to take care of you, but like you just so used to this person, so used to your life being with this person, and then one day everything changed, and now you just on your own. So that was one thing for me, cause like, not to say I was depending on him, or I didn't know how to live without him, because I did, and I do still to this day know how to do that. But it's like your mind, us females, we we can hold on to stuff for so long, like we can say we over it, and we really don't be over it. So that was that was that was like. I, I guess you could say my why, but I'm not going to count. I really just didn't have, I just know I wanted better. And once you know better, your drive would be so serious. Like, you would go so hard. Like, once you know your why, like, that would really drive you. So, um, um, another being alone. Being alone helps. Like, y'all just don't understand. I have found myself, like, it's crazy. The things that you, the things, that, like, just by you being by yourself, you would just find so much about yourself. Like, you would just get to know you. And sometimes it's not good things. I notice the bad things about myself. And that's another too. Like, you but starting over. You got to know, you got to get, you got to know the good and the bad. Like, you got to, you got to point out both of them. You can't just point out the good in yourself because you got to point out the bad. I'm not saying what everybody else say about you. You got to really see it for yourself. So back to my story when, you know, I had to start over when I set those goals and everything down, I, 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 I was grinding and guess what? I did it with a nine to five. People would tell you that, oh, you ain't got no money, you working nine to five or that nine to five ain't gonna help. Baby, a nine to five will help if you let it. You hear me? You can get ahead. And that's what I did. I saved my money. I didn't do nothing. I was alone. Um, spend a lot of time in the house and working and so my goal was to have everything June 1st like I said y'all I, I got my apartment June 1st got my paid the deposit to my car June 1st so I got my car June 1st and I was still working at I had got a job but my job I had got my job in April so I was still working my job full time um, I had lots of hours. I was working crazy. And so, once I, once June 1st came, I had GED next on my list. So, I'm like, <clears throat> okay, I got GED next on my list. I got my apartment. I got my car. So, we ain't finna stop here. We gotta keep going. So, I'm still, still not drinking. Still not going out, still being alone because I got things I still gotta do. So when I so after that, I end up July. It was July. It was June. It was June, and then July and August, September came. September, I got my car paid off. I paid my car off. Um, September 1st. That was September 1st. I paid my car off. So it took me two months to pay my car off. I'm still working. Still still doing what I got to do. And then June, July, August, September, October, one month later, I got my GED. And then I'm not going to lie. After that, I went crazy. Because I'm, I, everything was done. And so... It comes to a point, it, it don't, when, when people think about backtracking or, or going backwards to get ahead, they think it takes years. No, it don't. Baby, that's why you, that's why you have to isolate yourself. That's why you have to be alone. That's why you have to really grind. That's why you can't do stuff. People, all the people tell me they can't do it. Every time I tell them what my, like what I did, like I really focused, like it took me a, a minute to do this. But when I actually got it, 
and I actually sat down and thought about everything that I wanted to do and I did it. It took me three months. Three. That's it. And and that's all that I mean you have to do. You can people don't think about it. You if you say forty dollars for twenty five days, you'll have a thousand dollars. It's a goal, it's a plan. You work through something, you do it, you stick to it, it's gonna work out. But you don't do it, it ain't gonna work out. So um start small. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Um when I moved out on when I had moved out June first, I had my sister as a roommate. I didn't just jump by myself. Now I'm alone. A uh what, a year later? Not even a year later. Um now I'm alone about what six seven months? Seven months later, my sister moved out. But don't and don't go get this brand new don't go get this brand new 2020 car when you can't afford it. Start small. It don't matter what nobody say. A car is a car. A house is a house. A job is a job. As long as you ain't calling nobody else, asking them for this, 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 and that, it's yours, baby. You did it your own. Start small. And don't care what nobody else say. Um, another thing, too, is when, when, you, when you're on your feet, the company you keep, don't have... They'll have these people around you that remind you of who you used to be. And that's just real. I don't want nobody around me who remind me who I used to be. Or people that's around me and I'm telling them my goals and they ain't telling me theirs because they ain't got none. That's a bad thing. You can't be around those people. Or the people, they had the chance to do it, but they ain't doing it. It just... It's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not ever going to work out. Don't have them around you. People tear you down, I'm telling you. Because a lot of people have torn me down. And once I let them go and I focus on me and I did what I wanted to do and I listened to their opinions and to what they got to say because when they had the opportunity to do it, they didn't do it. And that's just that. It's sad, but it's them. It ain't got nothing to do with me. And so, um, watch who you keep around. Because especially nowadays, these people are jealous. These people wish that they took the opportunity when they could have, but they didn't. So just be careful and just watch the company you keep. Be alone while you're doing this grind, while you're doing this hustle. Be alone. And make sure that if you are around people, make sure they, they are on the same mission as you. Not, not saying to start over, but I'm saying make sure they're trying to they got goals just like you. Make sure they trying to get somewhere just like you. They're not trying to be stuck in the same position that we been in for a, a year. That's why I've been working this job for a year now in the location that I'm at. And it's been a year and now I'm doing something else. It's all about progress. Don't when you're there, don't ever stay there. When you're when you when you're starting over, you're backtracking, don't ever stay right there. Always keep going forward. Don't let nobody tell you, because I had a lot of people tell me. Oh, you're, you're doing too much or you're trying to do too much. No, I'm not. Baby, I'm trying to keep going. Don't ever just... I could I could still be with this company and, and sit in this company. Yes, I'm still going to work this. Yes, I'm still going to have this job. It's part-time. But baby, I'm going to go get a certificate or something else. I'm going to always I'm gonna always keep going. I might still work this job or still be in this right here. But I'm always going to keep going forward in whatever I do. And I notice like... Some people tell you, you're moving too fast, you're moving too fast, but it's different when you move too fast and you ain't accomplishing nothing. But once you accomplish something and you knock that thing out, keep going, keep going forward. Don't let nobody tell you, because I swear so many people have told me that what I'm doing is not right, I'm moving too fast, it's not going to work out. You got to keep going. And one thing that my father has always told me, don't tell nobody your plan. Don't tell nobody what you're doing at all. Because that's something that I'm still to this day I have bad. I like I like to, especially my older um cousins and stuff or like people in general, I like to tell people stuff. And it's like I have to not not because of them or something that they did, but it's like I need to keep it to myself and I can go because once you get all this stuff in your ear people telling you this people telling you that people telling you all this crazy stuff you start to doubt yourself they project their fears onto you just keep it to yourself don't tell nobody else what you got planned don't tell them what you want to do don't tell them what you're about to do don't tell them Jay. keep it to yourself 
uh, I promise you, it will work. So, basically, you can do whatever you want to do. And if I was you, I would try to listen to motivational something. I would, I would do something. I really would just focus so hard. And just know, like, give yourself, I gave myself three months. Only three months. I said I'm going to have everything that I said I want. I didn't have everything right away. But I had everything that was on that paper that I wrote down. I had it in three months. And then my car got paid off two months later. So that's only five months, really, in my GED. So you can do whatever you want to do. Don't listen to nobody. And don't let the thought of going back. And also, when you're when you're trying to start over and do right in your life, don't go back to what broke you. And that was that was kind of like I, I remember when I was during this time I was still living with my dad, and I was gonna go back to an ex, and my dad was like, "Why? What's the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's what's the point of that? You going back to something? Why? You you you're start, basically you starting over for no reason. I'm not saying don't go back to an ex boyfriend. I'm saying anything anything that broke you. And, and, and had got you to that point to start over, do not go back. It's pointless. Don't go back. It's going to be hard. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this shit going to be easy because it's not. I'm t- I had nights and I had days where I really wanted to give up. And, I mean, I used to work my butt off. Like, I'm talking about 137 hours in two weeks. When I'm only supposed to have 80. Like, when you when you serious about that, you on your grind, you're going to do whatever you got to do to get on it, to get it done. So, that's basically it. It's simple. Make, all it is is um, you write it down. You be alone. You don't, you, know, you don't do no extra things. You just focus. That's all it is. Um, find your why. You may have a reason why. And so, that's only for you to find out. But find your why. Focus. Study yourself. Watch the people that you keep around you. Don't even tell nobody that you even backtrack. Don't even tell nobody nothing. You don't owe them jack. Don't tell them nothing. Just isolate yourself. And your real friends, they will still be there. Because I, I have a friend like that. I had to tell her one time, you know, with me have, you know, with me being stable now, I had to tell her I, I got to chill out for a minute. Because I see myself, you know, I, I didn't see myself going back, but I just see myself kind of slipping. I had to tell her, and she was still my friend for those two weeks that I did not talk to her. Because I had to focus. I had to get myself straight. So your friends, if they are real, they will still be there at the end of the day. Woo! I feel like I'm just going up. Well, all right, y'all. I will go ahead and wrap this video up. Just remember, it's okay. We got this. We're going to do this. It's going to be gonna get this over with. And in them three the months, or them two to three, or them two to five, two to six, I say, I say this. I say just set it for six months. And it just really depends on your goal. You want a new crib, you want a new car, save up $2,000. Put, put $20 away. Keep putting $20 away. Then, put, then start putting 40 When you get to 40, 40 when you get to 40 start putting 60 Set a goal and set money. Write down, tw- write 1 through 25 down. And for each number, put 40 beside. And every time you cross off a of 40 put a 40 in the bag. And you'll have $1,000 in 25 days. Set a goal. Um, and, and, and actually just stick to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this girl talk up. This girl talk is for the girls that is trying to, we trying to be bosses out here. We trying to independent. We're very independent. Um, another video will be coming very soon. So, stay tuned. And I hope y'all like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Like this video. And I will see y'all in the next video.